Hello, what's up? Hope everyone here is doing good. Mm -hmm. This is Modi Waters. Um, and I think in this edition of this video, we're going to show you the exactly how the pure water production or how the setup goes on. So this is a standard setup or a very, 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 very good setup, pure water factory. This is our raw water tank. Okay. This is our raw water tank. So um, I leave the inlets of our raw water tank. We tap it from down here. Then um, the water comes in here as a raw water tank. Then um, we are the use of air bar. So whenever this one is closed, that means water does not get access to the factory. So anytime before we start the operation, we have to make sure the air valve is open. The air valve is open. Then um, the water passes through this pipe, all the way from this pipe. As this tank being the pro water tank, so the water passes through the air. Then this is the pipeline, all the way going to the factory. And this is the pure water tank. After treatment, after the arrow machine has done its treatment, then it will also dispatch the water here. And this is the inflow, okay? This is the inlet, inlet of the treated water, or the pure water, or the product, the permeate. This is the inlet of it. Then um, this bath to here is the outlet to the coil machine. So all the treated water passes through the air, then it exists here, or I mean it passes through this pipe to the coil machine via the use of feed pump. So anytime you're going to make sure you have to run your coil machine, then you have to make sure here is open. The valve here is open. The valve here is open. So because of, we're not treating water. So that's why we flood this valve. So after we finish, then we're going to flush it inside the factory. Uh, so I think that's with it. The, the raw water tank and then the pure water tank. Yeah. So I think that's how it is. And this is 10,000 liters, Rambo 1000. I like to call it 10,000 liters from synthetic tank, or you just call it Rambo 1000. Okay, that means 10,000 liters. It's very, very big and very good for a starter or something like you want to set up a filter factory. So we're going all the way to the factory to check out how things are, are done or how the machine is being operated in the factory as well. So, yeah. We're on our way to the factory. Alright. Yeah. So this is the entrance. We're also on our way to the factory to see whether if everything is working successfully or something like that. So um, welcome, welcome again to our factory. This is a very conducive and a very nice setup factory. Yeah. So this is this is our treatment plant, so the reverse osmosis is known as arrow machine. And then this is the coil machine to the automatic locate packaging. So far in Africa, this one is the top. And it was easy to operate locate packaging machine. This is what starts and seals the water into 500 ml sizes. Okay? So um, as you can see, we've already fixed our row. Our machine is on, our headlamps, everything is working. Yeah. Then, this is the feed pump. This is the feed pump. So this is what pulls the water all the way from the treated tank to the fire machine. It will pass it through the water house, but because of its new, we are not having to flush inside. So we don't want to fix the process for now. We want to flush after flushing inside, then we fix our process. And then, um, this is our fiber tank for bombola, we call it industrial filter. Yeah, this is the first and then the second. So this is full made up of sun and then activated carbon. So this is where the removing of odor, removing of taste, removing of color, all is taking place from here. And then we also have our second fiber plant for um, a bombola, or let's say a bombola, or we can call it industrial for diamond. Yeah, so with this one, this is full of Sun and then water softener, water softeners or resins. It's a, you know, it takes take care of the hardiness of the water. And then if it comes to the port, you can see this is our main power. You can see the main power light is on. And then we also have the conductivity, that's what controls the port. So whenever you press this one, the conductivity is working. 
So this way you check your TDS contents and then at the same time the temperature operates. So whenever I put it, it is off, the process is on. So now it's reading the TDS contents of our water. Then we also have the UV system or the UV sterilizer. You can see this, this is the balance or the adapter of it. So as soon as you press on it, you see that UV light is working, meaning the UV light is working. And the work of the UV light is it just deactivates the DNA of every living bacteria, viruses, organisms, everything is, so that they will not replicate or duplicate. That is the main use of the UV system. So we have a chamber here. Or the after treatment, the water that goes to the filter, then the UV chamber too is also working. So this way you, you control is off, on. That means our UV system is working. Then we also have a feed pump or a raw water pump. This one, what it means is, this is where you, you switch on the raw water tank or the feed, feed tank pump. And this is the pump. You can see this is a feed pump. So what, that, what, what this wave does is this one pulls the water out from the bombola through the bombola and passes through the 20 inches micron filters. Then um, via the help of pressure pump or via the help of the pressure pump or the arrow pump, the reverse osmosis pump. So you on this one, you keep I think within like one one minute time, then you also switch on the arrow pump. So just like this is first the feed pump switch on like one minute. Then the arrow pump to on. And this is the pressure, the pressure pump for the arrow pump. This is a centrifugal pump. So for a single phase centrifugal pump. So you on this one first, then it on this one within one minute time. One minute. From system it takes like two minutes. It's just like you need the flow to be rising small. The flow meter to be rising small. Then you press on this one. At the same time. When opening the hole or shutting the whole system down, you also off you also off it from the pressure pump product to the feed pump. So pressure pump off first, the feed pump off second. Yeah, that's how it goes. So that's the board, and then we have the gauge here. We have the flow meter gauge here, the flow meter gauge. This is for the waistline. This one goes to the tray. This is the waistline. So you can see our waste, this is the gate of our waste going to the drain. Because of, um, I think it's like 80% of the water is going to the filter. That's the treated one. So our waste one is small. You see, you see where the gate is? It's like we don't want to be having much waste water. We don't want to waste much water. So due to that, we have adjusted it in certain, but we don't need to compromise with the taste. So that's how it is. So this goes to the drain, and this one also goes to the poly tank or the treated tank or our story tank as a pure product. You see, and this is our shell. This is the shell of the membrane. This is the house in the vessel or the shell of the membrane. And then this is the in, in to the flow, the flow to the tank. This is the treated water that passes through the flow meter to the treated tank. Then we also have a 20 inch filters, a PP filter smooth one. So this is a pre-filtration. This is where some of the, the, the dust, the silt, the sediment, I mean the suspended particles, something like bits of metals and everything is taken out of the water before coming to the, the vessel of the reverse osmosis machine. So that's how it is. That's why it is the control panel. Don't forget, whatever we are coming to on, raw water first, within one minute, then you also switch on the pressure pump for the arrow. When you are coming to off it, it's rather the opposite side. You, um, pressure pump or arrow pump first off, then you also off the feed or the raw water pump. Yeah. So, and then um, this is a total house in this world. When the water from the pure tank, it passes through this process, we are the use of the pump, then it feeds 
the coil machine. So this is where the flow of the water comes from. This is where the flow of the water comes from. So as soon as you on this pump, right, the water will start coming through this pump. Uh, I mean this tube. So that's how it is. And then with this one tube, we have our UV ballast too. If I added another chamber, a UV system to it, you can see this is a very uh, promoting factory setup. So we also have additional UV connected to the to the coil machine. And the UV, it doesn't add any taste, it doesn't add anything to the water. It just deactivates the DNA of every living bacteria, viruses, germs, whatever. The UV like what it does is it stores all those stuff. So that they don't get because it's made up of mercury vapor. It, it's made up of mercury vapor in it. So when the water passes through the wavelengths, it deactivates the DNA of every living organism. So that's how we go by rates. Thank you very much for watching. Yeah, have a very good time. Everyone stay safe. Bye-bye. 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 Finish one. Watch it. Thank you. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.